Do you ever find when you're watching several YouTube videos that the volume can be different between them and you have to either turn it up or turn it down in order to get a comfortable listening level? Some are fine, but some are just too quiet. Audio is important and it's good that you should get it right so that your viewers are comfortable with the listening level. And in this video, I'm going to show you two ways that you can very easily manage this within Premiere Pro. So welcome back to the video darkroom and let's get started. I have another video that covers the principles of loudness and how you can measure that with loudness radar. That video is split up into chapters so that you can go directly and look into the loudness standards for various different kinds of media like YouTube, broadcasts, podcasts, that kind of thing. You can also look at how to set up the loudness radar in Premiere and how you can use that to measure loudness, then some techniques for how you can adjust loudness, and finally, how you can review on YouTube itself using Stats for Nerds to see what YouTube has done to your volume. In this video, however, we're going to summarize some of those things, so if you want the detail of that, I have linked it above just now. The first thing that you should know is that as volume is experienced by the listener, it is measured in loudness units full scale, that is LUFS. And there are a variety of standards for how loud the sound on your videos should be. For example, for broadcast, it's minus 23 or minus 24 in the US. And for YouTube, it's minus 14. For Apple Podcasts, it's minus 16. But we're going to assume that we want to target minus 14 in this video. Minus 23 would be way too quiet. Minus 24 also too quiet. In fact, they'd be about 10 decibels too quiet, which that is a big difference. And I think the fact that Premiere assumes that your video is going to be for broadcast and automatically sets a level of minus 23 or minus 24, I think that is the reason why some YouTubers' videos are too quiet. I want to show you how you can change that default and manage your loudness to get it perfect for YouTube. Since I published that video about how to manage loudness using Loudness Radar, Adobe has added some additional controls to manage loudness into Premiere Pro. In the Essential Sound panel, for example, there is now a loudness control and you can set for individual clips the loudness and match it right across your video. And that's an absolutely great feature that you can set all the different voices that you may have to being the same standard of loudness. But the problem with it is that it sets a loudness standard of minus 23 and it doesn't give you the option to change that. So what we need to do is we need to get into the Premiere Pro settings and change the default value of loudness Let's see how to do that. So here's how you can change the default in Premiere. So go to your Documents folder. By the way, the navigation is exactly the same on Mac. And go into the Adobe folder within your Documents folder. And then um, go to Premiere Pro. Choose the latest version that you're currently using. In this case, it's 24. And go into your profile. I find it best to also make the change in the Creative Cloud profile as sometimes it seems to pick up its value from there. I'm not sure why, but if it's not working for you in your own profile, then also make the change in the Creative Cloud profile. Within the profile, choose Settings and then Essential Sound. Choose Default and choose Dialog because that is the audio type that we're trying to adjust. In Dialog, there is a file called Config Essential Sound. You're probably wise to make a copy of that. You can see that I've already made a copy of mine. But once you've done that, you can open it in your text editor and you can search for model underscore loudness. So once you find model underscore loudness, then move along the line um, to the right until you come to the value, which in this case it's sitting at minus 
21. Yours may be different. So I'm going to change that to minus 16. Could be minus 14, but minus 16 gives us just a little bit of leeway and avoids the situation where YouTube may have to reduce your loudness by a small amount. So once you've done that, you can then save that, close down your text editor, close down your file explorer, and restart Premiere Pro. You can see now on my timeline that I've got several audio clips that are here. I just select them all. And first of all, we need to mark them as dialogue because it was within the dialogue section in the essential sound settings that we set the model loudness to be minus 16. So we can now click on loudness since they're all selected here. Simply select auto match. And you'll see now that they've all been auto matched to minus 16 loudness units full scale. So that is pretty perfect for YouTube. If we upload that onto YouTube, it may well show that we've got minus 2 dB on that, but that's of no consequence. Not the same as minus 10 decibels. That would be the case if you hadn't made that change. If you don't feel comfortable with editing the configurations and setting files in Premiere, and I can understand that, there is another way that you can achieve the same thing without making any changes to how Premiere is set up. Let's do that now. Um, we select all of the clips as we did before. Um, going into Essential Sound, we can tag them as Dialogue. Having tagged them as Dialogue, we can then go into Loudness and auto-match all of those clips. Premiere goes through them all and it has auto-matched them to the standard of minus 23, which is the way Premiere comes out of the box, so to speak. So having done that, we've made all the audio clips consistent in terms of their levels, and that's good. And now when we go to Export, that video um, and put it up onto YouTube, we can go down to Effects in the Export dialog and we can check Loudness Normalization. And having done that, we have some options. You see by default it's set to the American Standard and that's minus 24 LUFS. But if we change this to BS1770, you'll see that this file now becomes editable and where it has minus 24, we can change that to minus 16. Now when we output the video, Premiere is going to raise the loudness of that video up from minus 24 up to minus 16, which is pretty close to the YouTube standard and gives us what we need. So that's maybe a simpler way. The only thing about it is that you have to do that every time. Perhaps you could save those as a preset that automatically does that. My preference, though, is to edit the configuration file and just have it normalize everything to minus 16. So if you find these two techniques useful, then please give the video a like. And if you want to see more videos that cover Premiere, After Effects, Lightroom, Photoshop and video production, then please subscribe to the channel and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.